So today is the first of many questions that we're going to go through with regards to the GPHC pre-registration exam. The GPHC pre-registration exam is a pre-registration pharmacy exam that's sat by pharmacy students, uh, pharmacists that have completed the undergraduate course in order to qualify and be registered as a pharmacist in the United Kingdom. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, my name is Yasser. I'm a specialist antimicrobial pharmacist in secondary care. I'm also a senior lecturer in pharmacy practice. And I run a YouTube channel called Microfarm where we go through any pharmacy related content or any medicine related content. And I have an Instagram page where we go through a lot of pharmacy related questions, pharmacology related questions and questions relating to the pre-registration exam. So there's often questions that I put up on the Instagram page and these are normally daily. And one thing that a lot of people ask for is explanations for the questions. So I want to use this as an op opportunity to explain some of the questions and why the answer is what it is. So the first question I want to go through, which I, which I uploaded recently, which a lot of people did get wrong, was a question regarding vancomycin resistant enterococci. So Mr. Smith is a 57 year old patient. He's admitted with a diabetic foot infection. The decision has been made to prescribe antibiotics for the treatment of a diabetic foot infection caused by vancomycin resistant enterococci. Which of the following antibiotics is likely to be a suitable treatment option? So enterococci are gram positive organisms. I've given you the organisms that's causing the infection. Uh, this may or may not come up in the exam, so quite often you will be asked which uh, antibiotic treatment is useful. It's very important to know which antibiotics are used for particular, inf particular infections. So with regards to vancomycin resistant enterococci, this is uh, enterococci species that are highly drug resistant. Enterococci are already difficult to treat. And the addition of it being vancomycin resistant makes it additionally difficult to treat. So it adds to that difficulty. It makes it very difficult to know which antibiotics to go for. So here I'm asking you which antibiotic is likely to be suitable. So here we want to see which one will be suitable among the rest of the options. And this is very much how the GPHC ask exam questions. They will ask which one is the most suitable from all the treatment options that you have around you. So the first option is tycoplanin. If you know anything about tycoplanin, it is a glycopeptide. It belongs to the same antibiotic family that vancomycin belongs to. And therefore the likelihood is that the vancomycin resistant enterococci will also be resistant to tycoplanin. You've got pivmacillinam. There's two things about pivmacillinam. One, it's normally used for urinary tract infections. And two, it's not effective against enterococci species. So therefore, it's not an option. Flucloxacillin, again, not effective for uh, enterococci species. Uh, it can be used for diabetic foot infections, uh, normally not severe diabetic foot infections, but can be used for diabetic foot infections. Um, if it is going to be used for severe, it'll be, have to be used at the much higher dose and it'd have to be given intravenously. But nonetheless, it's not effective against enterococci. And then you've got linezolid, which is effective against enterococci. It's a very useful option uh, for any vancomycin-resistant enterococci species. And then you've got metronidazole. Metronidazole only provides anaerobic coverage. Enterococci are not anaerobes, and therefore it's not effective. Uh, it, it's not effective against vancomycin resistant enterococci. So when we look at the treatment options that are useful, really it boils down to linezolid and tycoplanin, but tycoplanin belongs to the same family of antibiotics as vancomycin, and therefore it's also likely, the bacteria is also likely to be resistant to the tycoplanin. I hope you found this explanation useful. If you did subscribe, I will be making more content like this, like the video. And if you want more questions and a mock assessment paper, then I have 
both question packs and mock assessment papers on microform.org. I'll keep the link in the in the description box. Also, I do have study guides in relation to different BNF chapters if you would find that useful for the exam.